You know who lives there? Martha Stewart. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. This is Tom Deke, Aquascapes East, and he put two horse troughs. And he horse troughs. Yeah with the aquascape basins and pumps in there, up right outside her personal residence up there. This is 153 acres, absolutely gorgeous compound. She's got horses, Parisians, donkeys. Of course, the most incredible garden because this is Martha Stewart's place. How cool that Martha Stewart is living the aquascape lifestyle now. Exciting. He built two water features, what, like a month ago? Just about a month ago. A month ago for Martha Stewart. A good thing. Yes. And this is her 153 acres? 153 acres. This is pretty much her main place that she spends her time. And this is her home, and these are her fountains that you put in. So describe a little bit about these incredible, very unique. This is, uh, you know, this is my 27th year in business, and I can honestly say that I've never seen two fountains like this. Imagine that at Martha Stewart's house. What are they? These are two horse troughs and um, they're antiques. This looks like no horse trough that I've ever seen before. <laughs> so yes, they are antiques, yes. Right? Well, she really wanted to kind of have a big, great big bird bath area. And um, From horse troughs to bird baths, right. welcome to Martha Stewart Living. So we retrofitted them and uh, you know plumbed them up. We have two aqua basins, large aqua basins that are the reservoir. This is how subtle that she likes to keep the water, just a little and bit of movement. And this is part of the challenge, right? What size pumps oh, yeah. did you use? Two 1500s. And then you put a ball valve on them. Ball valve on them. It's got, you know, of course an overflow. So what comes up must also return to mm -hmm. keep the water level at and the must, same. And must return with no sound. Yes. So I have never worked with Martha Stewart. This is my 27th year in this business. Tom lives literally a mile down the road. Right. She stopped by your shop. How did this actually happen? Something like that. I wasn't there, but they saw my piece out in front of my shop. Which is our Aquascape spillway bowls. There's a set of spillway bowls. And, um, and she got and an that's... inspiration for her water feature. <laughs> out, made out of a horse trough that is definitely antique. When I think of a horse trough, I think of an 80 gallon Rubbermaid plastic tub. So you put these in. Yeah, had to really perfect it because she was really wanting a bird bath that doesn't scare away the birds. And so she thought a small flow would be it, right? Exactly. I think we accomplished it. I think it looks absolutely spectacular. And it's just fun for me, you know, to be able to see as a, as a, as a pond guy who appreciates gardening, I could certainly appreciate the work that goes into a place like this. Hey, Tom, great work out here. Thank you. Fantastic getting the uh, Aquascape brand associated with Martha Stewart. This is pretty much the queen of the gardening industry. And uh, you do some good work, buddy. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it. here where in New York? This is Golden's Bridge. Golden's Bridge, New York with Dylan and Tom Deke. And Dylan is the head brains behind the operation, right? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's do that over. We are out here on a beautiful day in Golden's Bridge, New Jersey. Oh. We are out here on a beautiful day in Golden's Bridge, New York yes. with Tom Deke and Dylan from Aquascapes East, and this is one of your friend's houses, right? It's one of my friends who is a friend and a client. Okay, and she's got a beautiful house, and you actually helped them design this, didn't you? We helped change the whole portico, the entrance of the house. We moved that huge Japanese maple. <laughs> wow. That took two machines to move. That was sitting right here. You, it blocked the entire entrance of the house. Yep. So we had to move that and make this change that the front could be very inviting for everybody that comes here. All right, looking forward to seeing this. Oh, wow, you even redid the, um, the pool. pool, huh? And the deck. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. Every little thing, it's so freaking awesome. That's breathtaking, isn't oh. it? Check this out, look at this. This is what I saw. I didn't hear it until I turned the corner and then as soon as I did, I saw this.
built right in to this. Oh my gosh. How old is this? Two years. In two years, this is what they've got. Look at this. Oh my God. Once again, I would never want to leave. Total vacation spot. Look at a puppy. Hi, Coco. Oh. <laughs> All right, you win. <laughs> And people always ask, I have dogs. Yes, the dogs dig the water features. I have cats too. this house there was a small water feature coming off of some ledge that was just cemented in and there was a trough right here the trough right here which is like just it was full of scum it was horrible looking it was full of algae it was just a source of yuck and right next to their pool so this was a water feature for their backyard it just was poorly designed but that's all they knew back then so when we were in the development of this, I told them, I said, we have to come back to the original integrity of the designer here. There has to be a water feature here. What I love about that is not only are you doing their landscaping, but you're designing additions to their home so that they can appreciate and enjoy the lifestyle of what they've got. We're consulting on everything to do with outdoors. Wow. Everything. That's a great way to look at it. When I put my trust in that man's hand, this is what I get. All right, so Dylan, go ahead and describe this then. When we arrived, they were actually adding this whole, position, this whole part of the house on, extra mm -hmm. basement room, and we had a pile of rock here. And this is probably one of my favorite projects because the whole pile of rock ended up in the water feature. Uh -huh. We didn't bring in any extra rock. The only rock we moved from somewhere else was that large rock that you're looking at. It's actually about two feet taller than it looks, and it was another two feet taller until the top broke off as soon as we put it in place. So we just shifted it over and moved it to the next waterfall. And the large rock we used for a bridge up top, which we took from the end of the driveway. And uh, Tom saw a stone at the end of the driveway, and he said, that's the bridge. I want that to be the bridge. So this was the choice. This stone right here. It's about four or five feet wide on the wide end. It's about a foot thick. And it was a real balancing act trying to get that thick of a stone in without taking away all of our stream area. So it squeezes through underneath this side. And then when we get to the other side, it opens up with a waterfall. But I can tell you rocking that area underneath that bridge was no easy task. Okay, so, so it was all rock on site. All rock from on site. Yep, everything underneath here is solid ledge, so there's only a little bit of cushioning so the whole this, way up. Is this the ledge rock that they got from jackhammering it out? So you literally reuse the stone that the house is sitting on to build the waterfalls. Correct. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so we can't. Two separate systems here, okay. two final systems. And where the stump is up top is where the two systems marry together. Right here underneath the stump, we actually have two features meeting each other. So we can run everything from the stump down or everything from the stump up. And you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference And the stump sits right over the top of the transition. How far so does run. the aqua box come down? Just, just what you're looking at here. And that was actually part of the issue is that we had started this project and we got up to about where the stump was. And then there was some discussion about pushing it a little bit further. So with everything already designed and the, and the size and shape of the basin, and at this point the pool was already in, so all our machine work has to hang from the top over. Uh, we couldn't do anything about enlarging the basin without taking out part of the pool. So, so we did a little bit of modification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or well, put a fill we, valve. We set it up so that the pool up top allows us to run each system independently. Oh. That monster rock is actually about two feet bigger than it looks. 
because there's a whole bed of gravel behind this waterfall rock which is on a 45 degree angle. So that rock is not solid all the way through, but there's a pocket of gravel behind it. We had to fill it up and put a little bit of a bib in there to hold the water. Thank you. Oh my God, I really love this guy. <laughs> There's got to be Italian somewhere. <laughs> I'm married to an Italian. Well, that's, that's, that's close enough. Yeah, it's How are you? How are you? Madeline Greg Woodstock. Yeah, I, I, I can figure that out. <laughs> nice, this huh? whole yard is spectacular. Isn't it good? They did, he did a good job. How, so this was two years ago this got redone? We started in the summer of 15. It was finished, all set by the summer of 16. I mean, we had to take a break in the winter, but yeah. yep. we had a really mild fall that year. We did. And so it was basically the relationship, the two, they started talking and then you were on board with this or how did it all go down? So we've known Tom for years and then I put the bug in Tom's ear and then I put the bug in my husband's ear and unfortunately along the way, um, my parents died eight months apart, his mother two months later and I think my husband decided you live once. Yeah. And for the first time, let's put this on record please, yeah. for the first time I didn't ask. You know, I, I didn't ask. <laughs> No, I, no. There was a lot we of. This conversation. Uh, there was a lot of what? Oh, all right. What? What are you doing? All right. So as so he's had a ball. I mean, it's been a labor of love. And now they have a bromance. It's, it's all, <laughs> all good. Yeah. No. And the more important thing is we're the envy of the neighborhood, which is kind of hilarious. people say that see this waterfall for the first time? Well, depends. Either way, they think it's stupendous. Uh -huh. In the winter, they'll come in, that room there that overlooks this yep, is yep. brand new. I, yeah, I reheard that. And condition. that is, everything in there is either in its original form or recovered and was my mother and father's. Oh, that's cute. So yes. of course, 10 months I couldn't go in there because I was too sad. But yes, anyway, yes. but it's really, so when they come to see that beautiful bay window, which I purposely made sure the curtains only were to hear, like, wow. I really need to see that in the spring and summer. And they just, most of the time now, they don't even go in my house, because my house is always open. They just come right back here and come up through here. A so water that they feature can, draws you outside. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, I never, because he said, Tom knows, I want a water feature. I said, really? I don't have imagination, so water feature. The funny thing about this build was, we were just about where Dylan was talking about before. It was here with Brian and you that day, and I said, we could really make this look more natural if we just take it up around the corner so you really can't see where it's starting from. And you said, do you remember what you said? God knows. Do it! I probably and just Brian said, went, only live once. And Brian went, do it. jealous I don't often get jealous but I'm jealous when you can have this kind of waterfalls with all of the stone that you actually dug up from the site 
it's just spectacular. This wasn't even his water feature of the year, but I think this is, this is actually my favorite one I've seen of his so far. It's not just the waterfalls, the great sound that it has, but it's every single plant. It's the wood ornaments. It's all the little details. It's that last 10% that makes all the difference in the world. And if you like this stuff, if you get inspired like I do about this stuff, like, comment, and hit the subscribe button and follow along, watch the videos below and get inspired to live the aquascape lifestyle yourself. Even now, Martha Stewart, I love my job. <laughs>